come from a musician family. My parents, they're both from Sweden, and they do both classical music and Swedish folk music. I'm actually the only one who is not a musician, but I do dance. And that's music as well. I wanted to dance my whole life, since I was really young. But I couldn't, because I was so ill. I had bad allergies and asthma. One day, my mother asked me, do you want to go to Africa with me? I was 14 years old at the time, and I said yes. So we went, and that's where I saw the African dance for the very first time. I was so shy. I was such a teenager, and I was so ashamed of my own body. But I did see this Swedish woman who took an African dance course, and I was so impressed with her, with the way she moved, with the way she danced, and I said in my mind, I want to become like her. I really fell in love with the way she danced because she looked like me, but she moved like them. How I feel duality? That's quite a hard question. I'm actually having an African crisis right now. I don't have any African friends. I'm not African myself. I don't cook African food. I don't listen to African music. I don't even dance African dance anymore. I have many different identities. Five years ago, for example, I realized I'm gay. I found another side of myself that I welcome and that I feel good about. Now, I don't have any idea what's in front of me. Just me, I guess.
moja mama je slovenka, oče pa ganec. Vedno sta me učila po končne drže. Moj oče je vedno in še dan danes živel, oziroma živi po principu, po načelu, ko prideš v Rim, so obnašaj kot rimljani. Z drugačnostjo nikoli nisem imela kakšnih velikih težav, k večjemu privilegije. Bila sem opažena, ampak bolj v smislu občudovanja. Spomnim se, ko mi je mama govorila, da je moj slovenski dedek bil najbolj ponosen človek na svetu, ker je imel edin ta z gazeta v Sloveniji, vsaj je tako je on mislil, in se je prav ponosno postavljal s tem. Oče pa je v bistvu postal pravi slovenc. Sprejel je vse slovenske finte, od tega, da je šel na triglov, da si je naredil z jedenco, z vinogradom, da pojel v pevskih zborih, da zna za pet več slovenskih narodnih pesmi kot jaz. Ja, celo teritorijalno brambo se je še javit, ko je bila v Slovenijo v vojni, no pa so rekli, da ste rečili gospoda, pač ne potrebujejo. Je čuti, da je odpravil svojo državljansko družnost. Žal mi je, da v troštu nisem imela več stikov z očetovo domovino. Nisem poslušala kje dost afriške glasbe, nisem plesala afriških plesov, nisem brala afriške poezije. Ko sem pri 23-ih, 97-ega leta prišla v Gano in sem z letala stopila na Ganska tla, sem imela občutek, da sem prišla domov, da me bo kar razneslo od sreče, kar sem od svojimi. Tam so ljudje res srečni, tam ni tistega nezadovoljstva, ki upijo vsak dan. Tudi, če stojijo eno uro v vrsti za avtobus, oni plešejo, pojejo. Ja, pa potem je pa začela motiti ta malo neorganiziranost, ja, ne, ja, jutr, don't worry, vse se da zmeni. Ja, sem slovenka. Leta 2011 po državnih poslavi, ko sem pela, sem zasledila kritike v smislu, da je nezaslišeno, da temnopolta pevka poje himno v parlamentu in da se manjka sam še, da Danilo Tjurk zapoje kako na matata, pa imamo nevega kralja. Jaz nekaj razdvojenosti nisem nikoli čutila in je to danes ne. Naprimer enkrat, ko je bila tekma nogometna Slovenija Gana, najprej nisem vedela, za koga naj navijam, pa sem pa se odločila, da en polčas za ene, en polčas za druge. Ampak, Kadar kol me boste vprašali, kdo sem, bom rekla, da sem slovenka in da je moja himna zdravljica.
Thank you.